Hello and welcome again to Piedmont Business Live. I'm your host, Ken Morrison. Today we're talking to Connie Chesner. She is co-founder, along with Travis Cook, of Armored Self-Defense. Connie, thanks for being with us. Thanks for having us. Tell me first, what is the inspiration behind Armored Self-Defense? Well, you know, Armored Self-Defense is really inspired by Travis and I and our backgrounds. So mm -hmm. Travis comes from about 20 years of instructional experience in a methodology called Krav Maga. And Krav Maga is a hand-to-hand -hand combat system. So he not only has world-class training, but he's used to working with, oh my gosh, so many diverse groups and ages and beginners to advanced levels, all different kinds of things. So his extensive experience with diverse groups gave him this experience of how do you convince convey information to a variety of people right. about how to keep, keep yourself safe, essentially. Right. So then you take me and my background, very different. So I've got about 20 years in corporate communication, behavioral sciences, those types of things. And when we came together and we started to talk about well, how do humans connect? How do they build trust? How do they work together? So he's seeing this in martial arts schools and he's seeing this as he trains self-defense. I'm seeing it in corporate America. And we said, how do we bring these things together? So we've developed a fully mobile self-defense company that provides team building and team enhancement services to folks. And we go on site to corporations and organizations and we make people better. So we give them a practical skill set, and at the same time, we build their lives out in terms of being able to communicate better, being able to trust their teammates better, and work better. Um, besides that, you know, the inspiration really was how do we bring things to people in a unique way? Right. We are fully insured. That travels with us. That's very unique in the industry. And um, we also bring all equipment and everything else in terms of skill sets and labor. So we're hands off and we wanted right. to be a situation where people could come in, hire us, we show up and do all the work for them and they walk away happy. So that's what inspired us. And, and as you were talking about that, what came to my mind is, is that when you're learning these techniques under uh, armored self-defense, it's got to enhance your, your confidence. And, Absolutely. And enhanced confidence in the workplace mm -hmm can be nothing but beneficial for the workplace. Absolutely, and so you have confidence and then you also have uh, awareness. So we spend a lot of time speaking about awareness of our surroundings and where we are. But beyond that, you, we also talk and bridge that into what does it mean to be aware, not just of your particular role. We have a very distributed workforce these days. So a lot of people working from home, traveling a lot. You know, you and I are co-workers, but we may see each other once a week kind right. of thing. So how we connect and how we actually have those bonds and how we work better to together is very important for the organizations to succeed. So what does it mean to be a performance enhancement specialist? Oh, well, we spend a lot of time thinking about what is it exactly that we're doing, right? What are, what are we bringing to the marketplace? So really, the core of what motivates us mm -hmm. is improving people's lives. So we want to improve individuals and enhance organizations. So we want to do those two things together because we believe as individuals improve, what they do for organizations improve right. also, right? So we want to make people better both mentally and physically. So as they go through our system, they're doing a lot of physical things. They're learning how to protect themselves, very real world, you know, gritty skills. But at the same time, they're building what you mentioned a moment ago. They're building confidence, awareness, trust, communication, those types of things. So, you know, we live in an interactive world. Think about... Think about the technology that's sitting in your pocket right now with your right. phone or with gaming systems, all these things. Everything's interactive, but training and development, by and far, it's kind of stagnated. Yeah. Lots of lectures, boo, yeah. right? <laughs> Lots of uh, sitting in chairs, watching people, webinars, oh my goodness, sitting behind another screen for another hour. Right. I don't care if there is a face that talks to me other end of the screen, oh my goodness. It's still a screen. It's still a screen. We need this. We need right. live, and people love to play. Yeah. Right. So what we bring together is the elements of play, interactiveness, hands on learning, being in a room with your coworkers, some you may have never worked with before, and really enhancing that to tap into that very deep human need that we have that's not being satisfied in many ways. And, and as a former educator myself, there's uh, there's a lot of research that backs up. How people learn most effectively is by combining various oh, yeah. modes of learning the tactile, the auditory, the visual. And, and 
armored self-defense lends itself to that. Absolutely. So we touch every type of learning style that there is, and we do that through very dynamic systems in how we come in. So it doesn't matter where you are in terms of experience. We've had folks come in with black belts before, and they go, oh, I'm not too sure. No, wait, this is totally different, because I'm right. not in a dojo. This is not pure self-defense or martial arts training. Nothing wrong with that, but our purpose is very different. Our purpose is to not only provide those skills, but then to enhance and essentially super boost that into understanding what that does for humans in the workplace. Right. So we actively bridge that back out to what does this mean for teamwork? What does this right. mean for how we get projects done? You know, timelines are getting shorter and shorter in organizations, and we're trying to meet those much faster. We try to alleviate some of that by helping people communicate better. So explain to our viewers how Armored Self-Defense helps people improve their lives personally and professionally. So personally, the individuals go away with that confidence that you're talking about, okay? But they also have a skill set that regardless of whether they go through another one of our sessions ever again in their life, they carry with them. We have a lot of folks come into our sessions and they go, you know, 25 years ago, I went through a self-defense course that was an hour long somewhere, you know, maybe it was college, maybe it was a community center. They remember bits and pieces because it's so essential and foundational to how we work, right? As human beings, we have to self-preserve. So they walk away with a skill set and we know they're going to have that. Should something unfortunate happen to them, someone they love, whatever the situation may be, right. they have a set of tools. And we talk a lot about a toolbox that we build for folks. So the more sessions we have, the more tools we can build, obviously. Right. But we start out with the idea that in that toolbox, even if we give you let's say three tools the first session, okay? Mm -hmm. If you walk away with those three tools, because Krav Maga itself is based on natural body movement, mm -hmm. you're gonna maintain those skills regardless of you know, your physical state or anything else, okay? And if something happens, you now have three things to, to lean on, right. okay? You can pick any one and every answer is right because the first rule of Krav Maga is use whatever works. So that's on the personal side, okay? Now, you also have some other intellectual things that happen there, but let's kind of focus over on that professional side. So on the professional side, we have distributed workforces. 45% of Americans now on average work from home, at least part of the time. Really? That many? So that means that, yeah, so I mean, we used to not be like that. We used to go into offices all the time. Right. Now we have people that sometimes go to the office once a week or maybe once a quarter. Okay? We work with sales teams that don't see each other except for twice a year. And besides that, they're out in the field doing their work every single right. day. So really what's happening is they're feeling frustrated if they don't have a sense of connection to others. Mm -hmm. So professionally, when they walk away from these sessions, the idea of learning something like this together is very bonding. And so it's, it's kind of like if you think back to when you went to summer camp when you were a kid, right. and you guys built a, built a fort out in the woods, or you did something together. Right. I don't care how old you are. You can be 89 years old and run into somebody from that summer camp. It's like, oh, yeah, do you remember that? Yeah. That's what our sessions do for folks. But it does it on a professional level. So now in the workplace, they have this shared and common experience to build off of, which is unbelievably powerful. Great. So with everything that's going on in the world, we hear a lot about active shooters, uh, campuses oh, yeah. of, of schools, businesses, and it's, it's so tragic. Do you guys address that? Well, you know, we address active shooter seminars, but we do them in a different way than most other organizations. So um, I'm not sure if you're aware, OSHA guidelines requires a lot of organizations to do active shooter training. Oh, I didn't so know that. So there's a pretty low bar in some cases for that to be achieved. You can do, I don't know, a webinar perhaps. I don't know how much a webinar is really going to help your folks, though, when it comes to a real active shooter situation with the real stressors and what happens. So what we do is we, again, come on site and do that whole human connection thing that we're big fans of, okay? And we build out from that and actually make the sessions fully interactive. The participants get up. They move during the sessions. Yeah. We're not shooting real guns, okay? But we will simulate gunfire. We'll do things that um, follow the, the three steps, which are run, hide, and fight, okay? Yeah. so. We've been talking to folks who've gone through other active shooter pieces and they go, you know, they talked about running, but I don't know where I would run to. Yeah. They talked about hiding and I look around and I go, well, what would be the good choice? We bring that on site to them and say, this is what you would do. Because we know that when we're teaching self-defense especially, mm -hmm. we're teaching them and we're building a Rolodex in their brain. Right. We're giving them an image. So if this happens, I now have a simulated experience that says, oh, wait, I can reference that. 
Right. And then I can I can act in this way. We talk a lot in class about the idea of um, the first time you were in a car wreck, even if it wasn't a bad one. You freeze up. You have no experience. Your brain goes, oh, I don't know what to do. Yep. Second time, maybe you do a little bit of more reaction. Maybe if it's on ice the second time, maybe you pump your brakes a little bit. Or you hold that wheel steady instead of turning directly into the worst thing you can do. <laughs> we learn like that. And so our active shooter seminars actually provide all of that and make them powerful beyond most of what's on the market right now. Terrific. So what uh, steps should people take to get started with this? So, you know, we custom design everything that we do. That's great. And so, really, there's no cookie cutter approach. But the best place to start, really, is our website. Okay. And I know that's the answer to just about everything these days, start on the website. If people want to start there, I'll tell you, it's filled with videos, testimonials, you name it, information on the brain science behind what we do, our full backgrounds, more information than you're ever going to want, okay? But really, all people have to do is take the information that's underneath this video, so our email address or our phone number, mm -hmm. Call us or email us. It takes a simple question. How do I get started? We set up a coffee meeting or a conference call, whatever's most convenient. We come to them in most cases and we say, hey, let's talk about what intrigued you and let's figure out how to make a program that works for you. That's interesting that you say that it, um, because you're right. It, companies are very different and what works for this one may not be just right for that one. So Absolutely. that's great to hear that they're they're customized for them. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for sharing your story with us and telling us about Armored Self-Defense. And uh, this right here, can you briefly explain to me what what is going on with this? Well, this just really talks about the four main areas that, that drive what we do. The changing workplace that we talked about with the 45% of the folks and, and folks mm -hmm. not working together. The safety and security, we talked about that with our um, active shooter seminars. Interactive world, we talked about that with gaming. And then the idea that kind of underlies everything, health and wellness. I mean, we all know, I mean, I'm preaching to the choir, I don't care who I'm talking to, right? right? You know. All of us are more sedentary by nature of what that technology is doing to us, and we need to move forward and get moving as employees and as workers and as citizens so that we're healthier and we can live longer and live better lives. So that's what led into the inspiration for Armored Self-Defense. Sounds like a wonderful, wonderful uh, organization. We have a we great wish. time. I oh, my gosh. <laughs> I bet you do. Well, thank you again for, for sharing your story with us. And if you want to know more about Armored Self-Defense, please visit the, their website. The link is at the bottom of this page, along with their other contact information. So you can contact Connie, you can contact Travis. Both of them are terrific and would be more than happy to talk to you about what would work for you and your organization or just you personally. Connie, thanks again for being with us. Thank you so much for having us. We appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in to Piedmont Business Life. We'll see you again next time. Thank you.